In our enjoying our community, many members loved portrait, but not having enough appreciations for the shadow. In this short demonstration, I'm going to show you how to easily capture the shape of shadow. Light and shadow is the foundations of the lightness. If you love to do portrait of children, come to join us today. We will learn together for the secrets how to easily capture the likeness. We we'll like you to think about the shape. Just think about this, the shape. Okay, that's the shape over here. And I'm not gonna measure with the eye, the nose. For this one, it's so easy to measure the eye and the nose. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a look at a shape that I see this uh, coming down on this side, okay, like this, and coming over here, okay, and coming down over here, and this is the shape, the shadow shape, start over here, like that, looking for that shape. I'm gonna hit the corner over here and start the shape like here, okay, like this, good. And the shadow shape coming all the way in here, like that. So now I'm going to divide this, okay, the ear. I do that a little bit later, the ear, a little bit smaller shape. So I'm going to see the shadow shape right here. Right, can you see that, the shadow shape? Now yeah. I'm going to develop the largest shape, okay, the largest shape, not the small shape. And take a look from here, come all the way, and where is it? right in the middle over here from the top to the bottom and that's the shape right here and the eye is part of the shadow shape can you see that right here and come up to right here almost like a right in almost the middle and take a look at that and that's the shape here so we're going to measure uh between those shapes okay And take a look, and here you go, coming over here, like that. And there's another shape on this side. Like that, and coming down over here, and there's the shape on the side over here. Okay, now we're focusing on the shape. Now let's see how this is going to help. We're going to measure based on the positive, the light shape and the dark shape, which is the light shape and the shadow shape. Okay, like that. And a little bit over here. I'm going to do that the shape right here. Let's see. I'm going to have that the shape on this side. So don't divide it into a smaller shape yet. We need to find this larger shadow shape and the light shape first. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with this. I'm gonna make the candy disappear. Okay, then need the candy. Uh, it's, it's, I'm a little bit too old for sugar. Okay, here you go. Take it out and coming over here, I'm gonna focusing on developing the shape. And like this, this is the shadow shape. So I'm going to make sure I get the larger shape correctly. That's the shadow. The other side is the light. And now I'm going to continue develop the accuracy of this shape. Okay, I'm going to have this coming up a little bit more. I think I'm going to use the eraser to push that that light shape a little bit more like that over here. And I'm going to have this coming up over here. This is the shadow shape. There's a little bit more complicated, it looks like. Okay, but focus, focus on, be focused on what is needed for the light and shadow shape. And down over here, I'm going to have that expand this a little bit and take a look at the shape over here, the shadow shape. So in your mind, is the 
the nose, the mouth is not important. So only what it appear as just the shadow is important. So I'm gonna take that down over here, take that a little bit shadow over here. I have a little bit light shape on this edge over here, but this the shadow immediately take over right under and like that. And that's good. And maybe take you just a little few more minutes uh, more than I do. Uh, but is that's what is really important. That's we're going to go step by step toward what the way that Gary discover uh, his shape and finding the shape and what he did, he modified the shape. So right here. I'm gonna have this coming up a little bit more. Okay. I want to just discover the shape. And the, I think this light shape come out a little bit more like that. And coming a little bit more right here. A little bit more over here like that. And take a look at in here. That's as good. That's the shape over there. And I have a little bit light shape coming in a little bit right here. Coming in like that. This is good, and see, all those things can be just flat, right? Yeah. And take a look at the outside of this. I'm gonna have that clean up a little bit and take a look at that. And this come in a little bit and then come in a little bit more over here. And I don't need this extra dark. I said, just keep that together and then come out over here, right? Can you see that? It's make it very strong as the just the big shape, the light and shadow shape, right? And, and you can come over here, take a look at the relation of the shape over here. I need to come down a little bit more. So what you need to also develop this shape in here. So in your mind, there's no such thing as ear. It's just all you do, it's just the shape, just the shape. That's a little bit shadow over here, a little shape. So the shadow is the one to create the illusion. Okay, now we we'll take a look, take a look at this is the light shape, right? This is the shadow shape, this is the light shape. And take a look over here. I think this light shape is a little bit too wide. Can you see that? That little bit too wide. That means I'm going to either to move those shape a little bit more toward this side. And let me see if I expand this shape a little bit more. And I make this light shape come out a little bit more. Okay, like that. And is that help to lessen that? I'm going to take a look. I'm going to have this. So you're going to like balance all those shapes the shape and make a balance. Now over here, I still need to moving in a little bit more like this. You see that this the light shape and this the shadow, light shape and shadow, right? I'm also gonna have this a little bit more straight like that and coming in over here, you see, um, if you don't get those light and dark shape correct, it, there, the whatever medium that you do is ended up still not gonna look like him. And there's a little shadow shape over here, like that. And it's that simple. And that is that simple or that evil, whatever that would be. But that is the thing you have we have to deal with. I'm gonna have this in a little bit. Okay, this shape need to trim a little bit. So now gradually create that likeness and the proportion, the measurement is based on the relations of those, um, the, the shape of their, you know, of the light and dark shape. And then you don't have to measure the eye. This is no eye, I don't see the eye, right? So all you need to measure that over here, this shape, the light shape over here relate to uh, this shadow shape, I think that shadow shape needs to come up a little bit more because this is very similar in the size, right? 
this and then move up a little bit more over here like that. So this shape relate to the shape over here. Okay. And then this shape could become up a little bit more like uh, like that. Okay. Don't make the, don't make, don't let the, um, the object force you. Okay. You want to keep them away from you and keep be, be, let you be the, the creator, not being the slave to the object and you use the, um, the shape as the weapon to uh, reserve your creativities. Okay, so this is a little bit more, maybe a little bit uh, shape coming in a little bit more over here, like that. And then take a look at here, this shape a little bit more in, the shadow shape, and this a little bit in, a little bit like that. So you keep modify the shape, okay? Mm. So, so not about like, oh, let me do a little bit more, keep a little bit more. There are going to be more things that are going to confuse you, okay? Right, so focusing on the 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 important shape. And look at that. This is look at over here. This is about right now. This is good. I'm gonna also connect that shape in here. Okay. And I'm gonna take out some of the shape over here. And this is good. Right? And look at that angle. You don't really see that when you get so much distract you, so much then consume your attention and take over your attention, which is you no know, those things is not we always start from big to small. So this is very important. What's the big? The big shape. What's the big shape? Light and shadow. That's simple. Everything else is not important. Is the eye important? Not important. Not now. It's gonna be yeah. a, a, in a while before you get to the eye. But because of the, the the eye is sitting inside of the shadow. If you don't even get the the shadow shape correctly. So over here, I don't see the eye. But if after you make sure this shape, the shadow shape over here, right. And before you go into that, like over here, I'm gonna just come back over to refine this using the eraser. That's just create that light shape. And I have this shadow shape right over there. And also important to seeing the, the negative shape with the light shape in between these two. It looks like this is a little bit too far away. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, need to move this shape a little bit higher. So closer to that shape. Maybe this shape needs to be a little bit lower so to be closer up to this shape. So this is uh, what you should be thinking of uh, so is that this shape over here? And I think this will need to go up a little bit. And just thinking about, just keep thinking about and keep related and think about those top hierarchy element, which is the big shape. The next thing we're going to do, we are going to working into some edges. Okay. Like uh, for example, and this edge can be a little bit softer like that. I'm going to use that coming out a little bit. A little softer over here. That's a little bit softer. Okay. And this, I need to be maybe a bit lighter. This this edge, a little bit lighter. I modify that a little bit, right? Uh, but you don't do that uh, before this because uh, you do that, you take away the attention focusing on the large shape. Uh, the 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 dark shape. Now I'm gonna working on this edge. I'm gonna make sure that's a little bit softer. Can you see that? And that's a little bit softer. Okay, but don't do that before this step. I'm gonna make this a little bit softer. The edge a little bit softer. Okay, this will uh, come down a little bit softer like that. Does that make sense? This is very easy to do, right? Now I'm going to see this a little bit softer. Not too much, like a little bit softer, like that. And see a little bit edge over here, a little bit softer, a little bit transition. And I can see this a little bit softer, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if that's too much, it just use the eraser. Erase it. Okay. Here you go. And now take a look at a little bit 
Jack H. And select that. All right. This is good. Now it's already improved. And some of the area need to remain to be sharp. Like for example, down over here is remain to be very sharp, right? And some of the area need to be lighter. So I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter like that. And I can you if you have a blender, it may be helpful. If the blender already clean, this is great. If the blender is not clean, you can clean it by blending it on a piece of clean paper, okay? Now you can actually use the blender to remove the value, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have this remove a little bit value over here. And this is good. And I'm going to also have it remove the value a little bit. And if you need to, you can use the eraser to tap, 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 and to make it a little bit softer on the edge over here. That's as good, like that. And I think this is a little bit, a little bit too much. I'm gonna just tap, 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 and make it a little bit more clean. Okay, that's just pretty good. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you also here a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna just, just remove a little bit tiny, tiny. Let's use the blender or uh, maybe a little paper tissues and we don't make it too, too light, right? That's just good enough in that. And a little bit over here, a little bit lighter. So we remove that little bit light. That's good enough. Okay, like that. That's just pretty good. And I think that need to come, the light shape come in a little bit more, keep co correcting it. So this is pretty good. And also on the side over here, now I'm gonna remove that a little bit lighter over here. Okay, if you use the tissues, probably go a little bit better. And here you go. Now already four minutes. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna just light up a little bit. Okay, I don't use the eraser because it doesn't really need to lift up too much. Just a very soft, very soft, just use the, uh, the, the clean paper to lift up a little bit. Okay, that's good. That's good enough. Just a very soft and that's good enough. Okay, and then in on this side, I lift up a little bit light shape over here on the side of the nose. That's already good enough, maybe too much. I'm gonna soften it out. Okay, don't have to be that much. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Uh, maybe the down over here, light up a little bit. Uh, so the light shape based on the comparison of the uh, the dark shape and the shadow shape that you can develop. And over here, you can soften that a little bit over here. Okay, like that. And a little bit lighter. And this is pretty good already. And then, and next, I'm going to start adding some darker shape. Okay, are you ready? Not much changes, right? So far, it's pretty good. And now I'm going to take a look at uh, inside. Let's start with the mouth. Okay, the mouth's over here. Look at that over here. That's at a little bit smaller shape inside right at the corner over here. Okay, right there. Just add that a little bit in. That's good, like that. And then on the other side, coming over here. So if you don't think that larger shape is good enough, don't move on to this because you, this is building up on top of the larger shape, okay? The corner over here, it will be right there. I think it's right there, like that, coming in a little bit. And this is just a little bit darker coming over here. That's showing that you don't have to make it so clear uh, for the, uh, for the uh, tongue of the lip. There's this little bit, very tiny, tiny, okay? Don't make it too much. And that's look like the mouth already, okay? That's a little bit because the lip is a little bit darker tongue, but you don't have to make it too much. So I'm gonna have this soften that a little bit as the color, but don't make it darker than, than the shadow shape, okay? You don't make it 
too dark. Otherwise, it make it look like part of the shadow. It actually is not part of the shadow. It's just a little bit lighter, a little bit darker skin tone. Okay, this is good. And the mouth, it looks pretty good over there. Now I'm going to come into the nose and take a look at this side, a little nostril right over there. That look at this, a little dark shape. Like that, that's good. That's good enough. And the next thing, pick up about the outside over here, like this. Coming a little bit down a little bit, like this. Not too dark, just very light, softly. Just use very soft, softly moving the charcoal. Coming a little bit more right here. And a little bit right here. That's good enough, like that. Okay. Don't make it too big of deal because uh, compared to the darkest color in the in the shadow, this is still in only the middle tone, right? So don't make that too big of the deal. You see that? That's good enough already. And now, and also going to make this a little bit softer like that. Let's see, go. Okay, that's good. Very soft, very small. And now I'm going to come into also here I'm gonna just dab, 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 have a little bit light shape in the middle over here, showing that. That's good enough. Now I'm gonna walk into the eye, right? Look at the eye right in over here. That's good, that's the line under here. You don't have to make this too clear either. So I'm gonna just make this a little bit shape over here. Okay, this is good. And look at the nose, side of the nose. You can see that that's coming up just like this. Okay, maybe come down a little bit, like right over there. And if you have a sharp pencil, you can draw the line above the eye. Otherwise, keep it like that, that will be okay. And the top over here, that line. Uh, mine has a very small paper, so it's difficult to render those. If that's difficult, don't don't bother to make it too clear. And that's as good for now. Now I'm gonna come on to this side, take a look, and I think that that needs to be a little bit softer. Lost it a little bit. I think there's a little bit coming in too much, so I'm gonna just soften that a little bit. Okay, that's good. And when you have a larger canvas, and this is, it would be easier to do, okay? When you're doing it like that, and you're seeing, hmm, maybe here need to be lighter, okay? See this, this come in a little bit lighter, like that, I think that's a little bit too much. Okay, this is good. And I can have just a little bit darker right in here, you see? Now it's because the larger shadow is already good, and just add a little bit shadow inside the last shadow, it will be much easier, okay? That, and come back to do a little bit more detail. Now take a look on this side. Okay, right over here, about here. So you divide this to the side over here. You can see that right over here. Like that is, look at it a little bit more, like right at the, right over here, that's good. And yeah, let's put a little color. And if you get the larger shape again, right, and doing the the smaller shape in the larger shape, it should be much, much easier. Okay, like that. So I'm gonna come in here to soften a little bit. And right now the color a little bit, the charcoal mark is a little bit too uh too texture. So I'm gonna blend it a little bit and that's probably good enough. You don't have to do too much of this. And if you want, you can do a little bit more, but now I'm gonna come down to here. Look at that, yeah, look at that over here. Yeah, here you go, like this. Just gonna put this part, okay? Looks like the top over here, you need to blend it a little bit more, this angle. To come down a little bit more like that, a little bit more straight. Okay, this is good. Now on the outside over here, I'm just gonna make this a little bit darker like that. This is good enough. You can see that? I don't have to do too much about it, okay? Do the minimum. 
if you can. Okay, that's good. And then over here and the bottom over here, just a little bit darker like that. And I'm going to make it just carry a little bit dark color, carry on over here. That's just a little bit, that's good. Doesn't need to be so too clear. Now I'm going to have just a little line coming over here. Don't have it too much. Okay, I don't want to make this too big of a deal. I'm just going to make this a little bit more value over here. And I'm going to press that on. Let's see how minimum that we have to do. Okay, it's not too much. So over here, I'm going to have that little bit showing that little bit darker over here. And just, I like that little shape over here from dark to light like that. And I'm going to give that a little bit suggestion. So it's not really much uh, or important. I can actually keep the bottom over here to be soft. And after that, uh, I think that ear yeah, doesn't really need, I need to do much. I'm going to just put this little bit shape over here. That's good enough right there. Okay, this is good. And I'm going to make this a little bit lighter. Is to see. I'm going to use the eraser over here. Just so very tiny, tiny light. Okay, don't make it too light. Uh, this is good. I'm going to show that a little shape over here. Okay, that's good. And that's good. And now I'll come back to the hair. You see that? Over here, now I'm going to have this just so that because the hair darker color than the skin tone. So I'm going to make this a little bit darker like that. And then I'm going to have a little bit texture. A little bit texture like that. But don't break the ideas of light and shadow. Okay, this is still, okay. Like a little bit shadow, a little bit texture, not shadow. Okay, like that. You see that? And here, we still have a little bit mid-tone and have a little bit shape over here like this. There you go. A little bit mid-tone. And don't make it too dark, too light. Uh, don't make it too dark. Okay, right here. Okay, here you go. Like that. I'm going to have a little bit clear and the edge over here. Yeah. You see that? The hair is there. So maybe a little bit softer over here and make it a little bit softer slightly. But the, uh, the contrast between the line and the shadow still going to be strong, right? Okay, it's very important. So I'm going to have that a little bit more clear, a few clear shape over here. You see how minimum that we need to do to create those separation and this is pretty good already so anything over here in the light side don't make it too too dark okay here you go coming over here and now i'm going to just shade it use my finger shade it a little bit soft and over here shade it a little bit soft right and over here a little bit soft and in the middle over here just a little bit dark a uh, little bit softer than and the light side over here so soften a little bit more. And I'm going to just use this. This probably a little bit too dark already. So I'm going to make this, let go. Okay, so I'm going to put that just a little tiny, tiny, little big shape here. Like that. This is good. A little bit softer on the nose. Just a little bit tiny, tiny. Okay, this is good. I'm going to have a little bit a few line for the catch the shadow of the eyelashes. Okay. A little bit like that. And and take a look at the top over here. All right. I'm going to add a little bit light shape. And a little bit light shape because the sun is too bright. So here's the it is screen. Okay, here you go. Like that. Those are easy to do, but this is not really defined much of the lightness. This is a good to create a little interest like that on the top. All right. 
And now I'm going to take a look at over here. It should be a little bit lighter on the chin over here. Let's use the eraser. Tap, tap, tap on it. That's just good. Now I'm going to have this come a little bit transition like that. So the bottom over here, don't have to make it too, too much separate. It's just okay. You, you can sense it. It's a separate. Now from here, and I'm going to have a little bit more coming up this way. Yes, a little bit outer, like this, a little shape. Now, and the last thing I can do is give a little suggestion, but very soft. Doesn't need to be that much. So I can actually, that's maybe too much already. So I'm going to soften that a little bit. And like that. And now it's a lot richer already more convincing as uh, this particular boy uh, you can see that this is not much we have to do okay the eyebrow maybe just a little bit but don't make it too dark okay and still the bigger impression of the of the um light and shadow you need to be ret remain to be to be there. But I think about this Nippei baby, expand a little bit, even more. And think about the eye inside over here, inside over here, have a little big shadow like that, but don't make it too dark. We mean to be part of uh, the harmony of the shadow. So I'm gonna have that, the eye over here, and then you can do a little bit more, but, but don't make it too jump out. Try to remain the eye is a part of the shadow. If you make it the, the eye white, don't make the eye white white. And don't make it too dark either. So make it part of the the, the overall impression that the, the lower eyelid over here. Now seeing that there's a little bit shadow over here. Like that. I can add a little bit to it. And this is very much it. Right, like that. And look at the shadow down over here. It's just very soft. You don't have to do too much, okay, right here. And if you want to add a little bit more, but don't add too much, okay? Just if something make a, a interest uh, to to the drawing and you can add a little bit. You don't have to make too much to it, but it remain the whole impression of the uh, lion shadow, the structure of the face, and keep that the big impression. The, so most of what we have done is before this last step. And then maybe there, move it out a little bit. You can keep coming back to, uh, to correcting the shape. That's done. Come to join us today on Patreon. See you in the next lesson.